Even if your garden is full of the most stunning flora in the world, not everyone has the time or the patience to tend to them. The good news is that boring is not an option when it comes to low maintenance gardening. Many choices are available that are visually appealing and require almost no maintenance once established. A garden doesn't have to be a full-time job, so we've broken down the best low maintenance plants for your space. Number one, conflower. They attract bees and butterflies with their daisy-like blossoms. The purple variety of conflower is the most well-liked and robust, but white, pink, orange, and even multicolored variants are available. They can survive in dry conditions and resist browsing by wildlife once established. Remove them completely in the early spring. When clusters become too large, divide them about once every four years. Conflower thrive in zone four to nine. Number two, black-eyed Susan. They can reach heights of two to three feet and produce beautiful yellow flowers with dark brown centers that resemble daisies. They can survive dry conditions, are resistant to herbivores like rabbits and deer, and bloom throughout the year. In the summer, you don't have to worry about deadheading. In the early spring, trim the seed heads. Since black-eyed Susans multiply rapidly, you may always transplant new ones or dig out extras to give away. They can survive in zones three to nine. Number three, salvia. The variety of salvias is unmatched for such a low maintenance perennial. They can reach heights of one to six feet and come in a rainbow of colors. Aside from being a favorite of butterflies, bees, hummingbirds, and other pollinators, sages can withstand periods of drought and remain undamaged by browsing deer. To encourage more blooming, deadheading can be done occasionally. Plants like salvia thrive in zones four through nine. Number four, Shasta daisy. Grown as a perennial, Shasta daisies provide the traditional daisy look with their white petals and sunny yellow centers. Plants can withstand periods of drought and are rarely bothered by pests like rabbits and deer. In hotter regions, leaves may persist year-round. Flowers can last longer if deadheading is done, although it's not required. Between zones five to nine, Shasta daisies flourish. Number five, coral bells. Also known as heucra, these flowers require very little care and are perfect for a shady landscape. Their foliage comes in a rainbow of hues, including mahogany, lime green, and deep purple. Deer and bunnies usually don't bother hucheras, and modern varieties have improved resistance to both heat and dry conditions. A growing zone of four to nine is suitable for coral bells. Number six, catmint. Plants can reach heights of one to three feet, depending on cultivar, and spread rapidly to cover bare ground. You can look forward to blue and purple flowers that endure a long time and have a pleasant scent. Catmint is one of the few plants that may be left alone to bloom from spring to October. Plants can withstand dry conditions and won't be eaten by deer. In climate zones three to eight, they thrive. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.